Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. <laughs> Off on another adventure. Revelio. Rebellion. You are the talk of the school since you saved Mr. Reb and I from the Ashwinders. We have come so far. We should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop Harlow. to see you, my young friend. Ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and... <laughs> Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be... If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. <sighs> Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabilliland, my father would be alive today. What? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to... Galloping? Your father was also an animagus, I... He could become the most majestic giraffe. And he would carry me on his... We were on our way home. When we saw... One of them saw me, just as he removed a scarf from his... He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me, and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and... and then he was gone. <sighs> and... Your fault? He died protecting me. 
If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be... My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it be... A few years later, we left... Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so, too. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him, as do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. He was... truly extraordinary. We all have our burdens. My father... Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall. Exactly. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We... Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I most... Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. How do you feel? Uh. 
incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Professor, a moment of your... Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which... Student. Stand proud, purebloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. Gareth! Uh, uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have... Oh, Professor. Yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. I'm looking for my house elf. Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um... I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells prime potion ingredient. And I know you... What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydew. Bah, that's enough from you. Just know that I... On your way, Mr. Well, there's one for my diary. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I... S simply mourn for the future of the headmaster. Yeah, what could he want? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting. I, I have to write twenty inches on Dittany and its uses. Was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, must. Are you feeling all right, sir? You. Do I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis... Something is... I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Professor, a word? Professor Black, again. It is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? 
nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes, sir. I've a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Yeah. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? You call that a shine on those boots? Do better! I hope it's not about time. anything I've been doing. The headmaster has an invisibility cloak on me. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking... Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Professor, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how uh, delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh. Very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's... I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Scrope's as hard a worker as any. Ahem. Attention, students. I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the elegant banners of Ravenclaw. I shall be taking no questions at this time. Or ever. <laughs> Greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. 
that the scope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Of course I remember. It's the Black Family Reigns. Is Master giving Scrope a test? It's pure blood forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah! Yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Uh, toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Ugh. Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Ah, uh. uh. <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. Uh. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. <laughs> 